We are in the midst of alcid nesting season right now, and you may see as you're looking around the habitat, nesting material that we've placed out for the birds to collect and bring back to their nest boxes. So two of our birds right here are right by their nests. So their nests actually are through the little tunnels in this cliff behind me, and there's nest boxes in our animal care space on the other side of this cliff. So you may see some of the puffins walk kind of into the cliff, and that's they're walking in these little tunnels that we made for them to be able to get to their nest boxes behind us. This is our animal care space. So these are all of the nest boxes. So there is the little burrow that leads kind of right into this nest box right here. What we're gonna do to look at the eggs is we'll actually tap on the front of the nest box, let the parents know that we are gonna be opening up that front, and then we'll offer them some reinforcement, some fish, for being comfortable with us opening up that box. We can then stick our hand in, safely pick up that egg, and bring it back here so we can weigh it, candle it, and make sure it's developing normally. So what you can see right here are vessels inside that egg. And then as I'm spinning it, you'll start to be able to see the embryo inside. And I'm holding pretty still. You can see movement, and that's actually the embryo moving inside the egg. Seeing this movement is a great thing. It shows that the embryo inside is developing normally, and we like to see that movement. And you can see actually right there was just the eye. We do this whole process of tapping, pulling out the egg, weighing it, candling it every single day just to monitor that embryo's development. Since we started our alcid habitat, we have had four successful chicks and we hope to have more this year.